What's good, y'all? Ah, I'm live on Zoom, but like on the thing. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we can go ahead and start this thing. I am Alain Garcon or Eddie Jarrell Jones. You might know me as either. But we're going to do um, a video today. It's going to be cute. It's going to be alive. It's going to be fab. Oh, my gosh. This is so dope. So let me share this real quick. I'm, I'm about to share it to all the groups that I'm in. Yes, I'm about to storm all of these groups. Share, share, share if you're just joining. You know, just share all of this. And I got to share it to all my non-binary pages real quick. All right, all right. This is the new C. This is the new C. Because now you can go live from Zoom. So that's the thing. So. I just want to say hello to everybody today on the Facebooks of the things. Um, I'm in Long Island. This video is also going to go up on YouTube. So to all of my YouTube audience, hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eddie Jarrell Jones. I'm the next on the end. Y'all already know, uh, same girl, new hair, but I'm still me. So on today's video, on today's live and YouTube for you all that will see it later today, um, I basically got a package from my mom. So I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I moved to New York about two years ago. My mom has been scared shitless about me uh, living out here and just all of the whole tea. So a little bit of background is um, I'm non-binary and I'm black. Duh. I'm 25 and I'm in ballroom. I'm a model. Um, I'm a media personality. That's pretty much what I do full time. Um, I can do makeup, you know, things like that. But I'm just all around just young, fun, millennial. I like to do like my career stuff and I like to have fun. But um, this video is going to be mainly about like how I came out to my mom about, you know, being the girl, because, you know, I um, grew up, you know, a little bit different than the rest of everybody else. And I will say in New York, y'all are very blessed to have um, a space where you can kind of be yourself. You know what I'm saying? I know it's still, I will tell people all the time, New York is not like this fairy tale land that you go when you're gay and you just be like, oh, I just go get my life. No, it's crazy here too, but you all are blessed to have so much representation just on like every street that you walk down. Like if I would have had that representation as a younger, person I think I would have been my fully realized self um a lot sooner so I'm not gonna keep my mom waiting in this little waiting room so long so hey y'all boom I came out to my mom told her I was gay when I was like my freshman year in college that's when I broke it to everybody everybody probably already knew but that's what we're gonna talk about but when you're okay so when you're an LGBTQ plus spectrum sometimes you know you have to come out about your sexuality which I don't really I hate coming out. Like I hate that whole idea because it makes it makes it seem like I'm just so different or something that's so wrong with me or like no, that's not the thing. So basically, when you like I came out as gay, but then when you're somebody that you know your gender is not within like cis men or cis women, then you have to come out again about your gender. Which again, I don't like the idea of coming out because it's assuming that like you're regular and I'm not. Like no, you just want to know my team. That's that. So. I'm going to bring my mom on the live now. And, oh, she also sent me, like, a package, like, a cool package. So I'm going to open up that package. I hope I don't cry because, like, she's been creating some art. But I'm going to bring my mom on now. She's all that and then some. So, you know, everybody say hey to my mom. Come on in the room, girl. Come on in the mother game room. Ah! Say hi, mom. Unmute yourself. Make sure you're unmuted. I'm, I'm not muted. Okay. Talk a little bit louder, girl. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, I can hear you now. Um, I just want to make sure, I just want to see, oh, work. And then we're on the Facebooks of the things. So how are you? We're on the who? <laughs> we're on Facebook. <laughs> oh, I thought you were streaming us on YouTube. I see I tried, it. but the YouTube wasn't, it wasn't working. It wasn't well, working. That's so, interesting because cause we do it for our school board meetings. Work. Well, it was my first time trying it, so. That's okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is my mom, y'all. So um, tell them where you are. You're in Cleveland, all of that. Yeah, Greater Cleveland, home office, chilling. Just had about what? Oh, it's six minutes, and my my work day is over. Sure. Yeah. But um, okay. So I already told the people like you made me some artwork. But what you really didn't know was that you know I'm gonna be asked. Well, I just told you I'm asking some questions. We'll just on the phone. But you don't know what questions I'm gonna ask you. But they're gonna be cool. It's gonna all be good. But um, oh, tell. Well, did you open it yet? Huh? Did you open it yet? 
No, I didn't open it yet. I told you I wanted to open it okay. too. All right, all right. Um, so tell people like the art that you've created. Can you show them a piece? Pick it up real quick. You know, I was feeling some kind of way. Can, can you see? Yeah, it? we can see it. Okay. So I was feeling some kind of way about, huh? All right, tell them about the art, girl. Yeah, I was feeling some kind of way about everything that's been going on. Um, very disturbing, very heart wrenching, much needed, What's much been needed. Going on? All the Black Lives Move, the Black Lives Matter movement. Say their name. You know? Yes, and for me, it's like a, it's like the new the new civil rights movement. It's much needed. There's so many things that have been going on for way too many years that need to be resolved now. And so, I'm sorry. Not say absolutely. I was agreeing with you. Yeah. So I needed a creative outlet to express how I was feeling. I started to write a poem, and no words were coming. You know that's hard because words kind of just flow from me and they were just bottled up. So what, a week ago, a week ago, Sunday morning, I woke up really early and before logging on to church, I had sat down at the computer. I was listening to another church service on my iPad. And I just started going and looking at images from the United States, around the world. Then I started looking at images um, from previous demonstrations. Mm -hmm. And then I went all the way back to the civil rights movement. And you made it, you brought it all together as collective. Like as collective. I sure did. So okay, I start, I'm sorry. Show it again. Y'all, this is my mom back and forth. We just cut each other off all day. Just show them the artwork again. Yeah, I'm Hold like- see it while you talk about it. Like it can make sense. Oh, well, you know, okay. So long and short yeah. of it. This, this is just one of the pieces. I did three. I have two 14 by 20s, and I have, I mean, 14 by 14. Then um, I, all right, all right, all right, girl. I'm about to show you. You give it the dimensions of all the things, girl. You do the things. So like, questions. How do I open this up? First of all, look you at to have some scissors. Look at her. <laughs> I hope it didn't break. I hope it didn't either. I'm sure it didn't break, but you are a key with all of this painting this thing. What's the weather? Can I finish telling my story. Mom, finish telling the story. You know, it's not that important. Never mind. They'll, they'll, they'll see yours. I didn't ask them. No, but tell them. Okay, so I was mad excited to get my. So basically, when she showed me the artwork, she just showed it to me like, oh, this is what I'm doing, really. Da, 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 da. Because she calls me really. And I'm like, oh my God, Mom, that is so cool. That's so dope. I want one. She was like, okay, I'll make you one. Boom. So, uh, about to say that. Come on, bubble wrap. No, it didn't break. I'm so excited. Yay. Okay. So this was how I got my mom to do this live. She would have done a live with me anyway, but this is how I got her to get on a live and be all excited and stuff. But we about to break it down into this conversation. Oh my God. Oh my God, mom. You like it? And it's double glass. Oh. It's called a floating frame. Oh my gosh. I took more time with yours. You see what I slid in there? I see. So y'all know I'm an advocate and I'm a I'm an advocate for non-binary lives and gender variant lives. Okay, push push it back a little bit because it's got glare on it. I know y'all, but this is me. That's me. Yeah, that was my, my little made, surprise. Is me in it. Oh, I'm sorry, you all. The glare is like, okay, there we there go. There it goes. Oh my God, mom. Y'all, this is me right here with one of my quotes when I was at Out Magazine. That's so cool. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to hang it. <gasps> and then you put a special note on the back. It's me and Marsha P. Johnson. Oh my God. This was my first, my second New York Pride, my first New York Pride living here. Oh my God, mom, this is so freaking good. This Remember how good. long it took us to find all the stuff for that for that outfit? I know, right? My mom helped me put to, uh, put together this outfit. So this kind of goes into, I'm gonna lay this down safely right here. I'm gonna put all over anything. 
So that literally leads me um, into the conversation of today. When the uh, basically like the first time you met, well, like, okay, so in ballroom, my name is Milan, but I go by Eddie normally in, yeah, period. That's that. Um, I like your eyes today. Thank you. What do you like about them? They look more natural. Mm, she always loves the natural thing. So let's get into the talks. So basically, I came out to you when I was a freshman year in uh, college. That's pretty much when I came out to everybody. So that everybody, you know, I was gay. This was the T, da, 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 da. Not that, you know, people knew or didn't know, but like, I guess just for people that are watching, like when I came out to you in college, like how was that? Especially because I know it was, it, it was over the phone. Right. Yeah. 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 So how was that? Um, the short version. <laughs> Honestly, you want to know for real? My feelings were hurt because you chose to tell me over the phone versus face to face, and you had been home for Thanksgiving. I knew something was wrong, and for whatever reason, you didn't want to talk to me in person. Mm -hmm. And so when you finally did tell me. It's like you, things that were really important to you, you figured that you needed to dole it out in pieces and parts mm -hmm. and not tell all of it. You had to purify it. Mm -hmm. And I never understood that. Mm -hmm. I it's, think that kind of came from one me knowing that that really wasn't it, but also that was pretty much all it was. But, um, I think also it was like, I just, I just truly, when you are, when you are just conditioned from the time you're born to believe something is wrong, just like how white people try to condition black people to think that something's wrong with their skin or that uh, dark skin is not beautiful, you know, things like that. I think when you're, when you are conditioned like that from a child, and, yeah. um, it wasn't, oh, you clocking out. It wasn't, um. It wasn't necessarily that I was taught that in my home, but I mean, come on, we get most of our education from schools and television because that's where we spend most of our time, no shade. Anymore. So I think I just thought that I had to like, it was an easy way for me to inch, like just get my foot wet because it was like, okay, how are they going to feel about this? Okay, how, did, how is this per Okay, how are my friends going to feel about this? How are, how are my intermediate families going to feel about this? Okay, how is like the rest of my family and loved ones and people that I may not talk to all the time but care about, how are they going to think about this? So it's like, you kind of put it out in like small excerpts until you feel like, okay, there's nothing left I can say, but I'm gay, y'all. So then, <laughs> boom, that's what I did. But fast forward, you know, oh, oh and then I came off for Christmas break, you know, we talked about it, da 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 boom, boom, ah, boom. Now, the T was, was when I started like wearing makeup and, and, and like playing in hair and stuff, or kind of like playing in drag. So I really didn't even know. I didn't, I knew like being a drag queen wasn't my calling. Like I, like I knew I just wasn't, I'm sorry. I don't, mom, you know, I don't like to sweat that much. I ran track and I just don't like to sweat that much. So um, I knew being in a wig, makeup, heels, and a hot club just wasn't for me. It's not my T. Um, but I knew that I liked to express my gender outside of the masculine binary like i knew that i was just more feminine i will always say it. i wish i had some baby i wish i had the one baby picture here but all, like most of my baby pictures is just like a lot of emotion but when i started like getting older and i was in people's weddings and i was a, uh, i was like the um ring bearer i would think that was fab that was a runway to me and i like and i know auntie wendy's uh pictures my i'm on that i'm standing in front of everybody like mm as a little kid, just looking sassy and over, Shakova. That's one of my favorite pictures, because it was like, I see me that I am now in that little kid, and just mm -hmm. thinking, wow, all of the years that you took to not be like that, because people told you, oh, don't dance like that. You know, your cousins tell you, oh, don't do the pop, don't dance like that, you're a boy. Don't do things, you can't play with stuff like that. You're a boy, go play with your boy cousins, go play with your girl cousins. Uh, being told things like that all the time, you just, you get very un uncomfortable with who you are. You're just like, well, damn, I'm not like everybody else. And no, I don't want to do that. And I've always been the type of person that I'm not passive. So I'm not just going to say, oh, okay, well, <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. And I know I don't want to do that. I'm mad now. So then you start to build this wall and this facade of who you are until you can gain the strength or until something in life hits you and you're just like, I can't, I, I can't not be myself. 
I feel so stifled. I just can't not be. I'm watching the way I walk. I'm watching the way I'm listening to how I talk because I don't want to drag my S's too much. I don't want to drag my T's too much because then people are going to look at me funny like, mm, why are you talking like a girl? Kids do that to me all the time. Why are you talking like a girl? I got all the all the time, like in high school, all of that, being around different people's family. Kids don't know no better, but they will let you know when when something that they've been taught and you're showing them something different, they'll know. So basically, I knew that I like to express my gender. I knew that I was more feminine, if anything. I, I knew that. But I also knew that I was informed and educated on what being trans, uh, transgender meant. Um, I didn't have, like we didn't have, when I, when I was figuring out who I was and like where I was at in the binary and if I was even in the binary, a, lo a lot of people weren't talking about non-binary. They weren't talking about gender non-conforming. They weren't talking about gender variant. They weren't, um, that wasn't the conversation in. The conversation then was like gay rights, um, marriage, was, marriage had been legal for like three or four years at that point. So I'm like, cause it was like 2008 or 2006 that uh, gay marriage became legal. So it was like, what, I went to college in 2012. So yeah, it was like four years after that. That's kind of when I was like, all right, well this, I'm trying to figure out who I am, but there's nothing I could just directly look at. And I don't know what to search. I don't, I didn't know what a non-binary meant. So as years went down the line and more things started to pop up about these people that were saying, well, I'm Leave not within the alone. binary. I'm sorry. Leave it here alone. It looks just fine. Oh no, it was getting on my lip gloss, girl. But thank you. Um, but it wasn't until like a few years later, like 2015, 2014, 2015 is when I started to see people say, I'm not trans, but I'm also not a cis male or a cis woman. I'm not a trans man or a trans woman. I'm somewhere in between the lines of um, these, these binaries and what they mean and how you should uh, play your roles in gender. I'm somewhere in between that. And I'm just going to have to get comfortable with finding the flex in, in, in the spectrum for me. So that's what I started to do. I started to play in makeup. Oh, I like makeup. I like makeup for the artistry of it all. Then I just, well, I knew I liked hair, but I just never wore hair because, and this is just the honesty I would mean, I never wore hair because I always felt like people were going to either classify me as trans just because of my presentation, or I didn't know if I was going to start seeing myself one way and appreciate that more than the other, but I played in it. I got in and out of it. I played with my friends in college. We used to like put hair in and have fun and play around all the time. And then that's what I was like, oh, you can not hop in and out of it, but you can be yourself based on how you feel. Just like mom, there are some days that you feel like putting on makeup and some days you don't feel like putting on makeup. There's okay. some days you might keep your flat cap or your bonnet on and there's other days that you're like, no, I'm going to make sure that my hair looks washed and go ready. So that's when I started to realize I'm just a person that expresses myself. And I like fashion. I like art. I'm naturally a creative person. So naturally the person I am on the inside has to come through on the outside. And that's why there are so many different variations of how I can and choose to present. So well, I want to know, how did you feel? Okay, so the first time, okay, how did you feel when I started wearing makeup first? Shocked. You were shocked. Yep. I, I know I came a long that. way. Why were you shocked? I'm trying to figure out what light in here. Um, I had to get used to it. I had to, I, I learned to be quiet. I wasn't this good at first. I'll just put that out there. It wasn't bad either. Oh, well, thank you. Um, I had to get used to um, you in makeup. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just as simple. So I figured I was going to be quiet, lay back in the cut, mm -hmm. and let you become who you needed to be and who you are without any input, except I would tell you if something didn't look right. Yeah, you always tell me if it was like too much highlighter or too much this or too much that. Um, how did you feel when I started like wearing hair? Like when I moved to New York and I started wearing hair? <laughs> how did you feel? Just be honest, I just wanna know. I was like, what in heaven's name? Cause the wig wasn't that great in the beginning. No, 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 no. Mind you, I made this wig and I made this wig at home before I started wearing hair. I just didn't know what to do with it. You made that wig? Yeah, I made this in your kitchen, girl. It's, I was going to say, is, is that the one you made in the kitchen? Yes. And remember, remember that was years before I started wearing hair. And I was, Yeah, that looks good. I didn't but know. But quit it in your hair. That's, 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 um, it's distracting. Stop it. Even when I had long hair, I didn't do that. 
Mom is getting in my lip gloss because I have a fan right here because I'm hot. I'm sorry. God, all I see is. But how did you feel when I started wearing hair in New York? I couldn't. I, I That was a, each evolution mm -hmm. that you've made as you've progressed to who you are. Mm -hmm. I just laid back in the cut and I observed. Mm -hmm. I and I at a, at one point I even asked you. So, do you know who you are? Do you know who you want to be? Do you know who you are going to be? Mm -hmm. Are you going to totally transition? Mm -hmm. And you told me no. Mm -hmm. And you explained everything, and I said, oh, "Okay." Yeah. I, just like I mean, I, I had to get used to it. I, I, I had to get used to it. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. You are who you are in your mind. So that's all that matters. Yes. We love that. Um, so I want to show you, I want to show y'all that are watching and mom, I want your reaction. So th this was the first time you'd ever seen me, um, you know, more feminine presenting. So... This is basically. Oh, you were gorgeous. That was in nice, Philly. Right? Yeah. How, how was it when I, because I came to York. So here's the background on this one. So I was in, um, I, I, I go to uh, Brooke, Brooke Soul Styles. Look her up, Boogie15 on Instagram. Slays hair, clearly. She told me everything I know today, clearly. So I showed up uh, to Philly to get my hair done. My mom was in Philly for a work conference. I hadn't seen her in a few months. She hadn't Go seen board. her in a few yeah. months. But yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. It, it, it was work. Um, you had a conference. And yeah. um, look at her. Try, oh, oh, trying to get her time. She had a conference or whatever. And I was like, oh my God, so I'm going to just come down to Philly to get my hair done that day. And you just let me know where to meet you. We can go to dinner. We, I, I can like show you out on South Street. I used to live in Philly for a little while. And like, we can have a good time or whatever. She was like, okay. I didn't tell her I was um, coming done though. I didn't tell her that. So when I got there, this is how I walked in, and this was like our, oh no, why is it doing that? Oh, it's doing that. Okay, so yeah, that was us, like our picture that we took. So how did you feel when I came to um, Philly? Oh, I hadn't untwisted my hair yet. How did you feel? I was like, wow. I mean, you're, you were gorgeous, but I was... I knew you were coming. I knew I was going to meet Milan. So I was prepared to meet Milan. But like, how did you get prepared? Like, what was like, like, talk me through it. Like when you saw me, like, I want to know the real tea. The real tea? Um, the real tea? I had watched you do all this evolution while you were in New York. And I really just wanted to see my, my rail. Mm-hmm. And when you told me you were coming as Milan, I said, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I meet Milan and I, I met her and she was gorgeous. And I mean, I don't know what else to say. You are still my child. So basically you still saw me. I just looked a little different, but I was still myself. Yeah. I don't like that picture though, because it looks like I'm looking at you like what? And I'm really not. Well, I, was, <laughs> I was probably saying something. But I tell you what, I, I've lost a lot of weight since then. Woo! Hey girl, here you go. Here you go. Sorry, sorry, but, sorry. Um, I tell you, I was so nervous. I, I me personally, I was nervous because then I'm just like, first of all, y'all, y'all see my mother is gorgeous. So I'm just like, this lady is drop dead gorgeous. I don't know how I'm going to just walk in there. Who knows if I look crazy? Cause you know, my dysphoria is always, oh my God, I just like a man in makeup. I just like a man in makeup. Like not really appreciating the, the <laughs> snatch back that I do. But, um, but um, it's a funny clip. Remember we was looking up our nose and we was like trying to like see the- Oh! But um, either, mm, either way, um, I was trying to show you how to use your nose muscles. Remember, I was like, yes, I remember. Make your nose look more contour, but we get off topic. That's what we do. But basically, I was just so nervous. Like, oh my god, is she gonna think I'm pretty? Is she gonna be like, oh my god, what's going on? Is she gonna want to go to dinner with me? Like, these are all the things you go through in your mind when you are non-binary or you're a very feminine boy that may, you know, shop on whatever side of the store they want to, 
for uh, trans, I can't speak for the trans experience or from the trans experience, but just for, I can speak from dysphoria and feeling like, oh shit, my, my appearance, my mental is, it's not blending. I hope I'm pulling this all together. I hope I'm, I, I feel good, but I don't know. I don't know if people are going to make me feel bad. So I didn't know what was going to happen. So when we saw each other, I came in a hotel and he was like, oh, this blonde, this blonde looks so good on you. This blonde looks so good on you. And then I had some makeup for you because I told you I was bringing you some gifts. Ooh, and we were just talking. We were just talking. Um, yeah, I brought you some Mac and some Sephora. No, some Becca Cosmetics. And we were just can. We were talking. We were having a good time. It was time. Mac and Urban talking. Decay. Huh? It was Mac and Urban Decay. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't. I kept the Becca because the Becca <laughs> lipstick's wrong. Oh, wow. Um, sorry, I love you down, but you have more than enough makeup. Believe me, I know. Um, I will forever be catching up to you in that game. But I was just, I was so excited. So we ended up going to dinner. We left the hotel. We went to dinner. That's when we took those pictures and we were on our way out. And then we got to South Street in Philly. Now, y'all know me. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. So it's not much that scares me. I do notice a lot of things and I I do get startled. I do understand that you got to be safe. But in Cleveland, you you just know that people are crazy and you know that crime is real. So I'm very, I'm, I don't get nervous when I go places a lot of times because I'm naturally very aware, like you have to be. So when we go to this uh, hookah bar, we order some food. Um, my mom and her friend, her coworker, they're like, we're just all just sitting there, boom. And I got, I, I had to go use the bathroom. Now we're in a bar, it's late. It's like super, it's super dark. It's like Philly, it was lit. Like no up there. there. It was manly, and it hadn't been the first time that I took you there. Last time I took you there, it was after my graduation, and I just, the face beat, I had on, like, it was like a butch mask, cute, femme look. It was, it was cute, but, like, I didn't have any hair on. I just looked like a boy with makeup on. So, when I ended up going to the bathroom, when we were in Philly, and you met Milan, I went to the restroom. I went and did my thing. Boom. Came back. Sat down at the table. So my mom leans in, real quiet, real discreet. And this is my mother. So yes, she can't ask me this because this is my mother. Like, this is my mother. And I know she's coming from a, a, a place, place of love and compassion and, 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 and protecting her baby. So she can't ask me this. But she asked me, she said, come here, come here. Get a little bit closer because I, I only want you to hear me. Um, which bathroom did you use? She was like, which bathroom did you use? But she didn't say it that loud. I just want y'all to hear me. She was like, what bathroom did you use? And I was like, I used the girl's bathroom. She was like, okay, good, good, good. Because I'm, I'm like, I don't know which bathroom they use. Because my mom is really good with her pronouns, as you all have already seen. I go by he, she, they. Um, just don't, be, uh, don't say them all together and don't be disrespectful with any of them that you say. But... He, she, they, he, she, they. He, she, they. <laughs> But um, I'm sorry. But yeah, like she's really good with her pronouns. She she's like, I, I, I know they went to the bathroom, but I just don't know like which bathroom did they go to because I I don't imagine it being safe for you. She's looking at me like this, just with blonde hair. Like I don't want you going to the men's bathroom. That's not okay. So I was like, I went I went to the girls' bathroom. I'm fine. I'm good. I'm good. But that was just, you know, these are just moments that I've, I've experienced with my mom that like, we've just experienced together. Like, I don't know. I just think that's mad dope because you are not like the parent that's just like, Oh, go to whatever, like go do whatever you want. Da, 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 da. I'm here for you. I'm going to support you. You support me that much, but you also like, you just chill like, and not in a lackadaisical sense. Like you really understand that everybody's human, everybody's a person, and that once someone reaches a certain age, they are going to start to be a more realized version of themselves versus, um, you know, how they were raised, period. And here's the deal. You're going to evolve again. We all it's are. It's inevitable. It's we inevitable. all are, and that's the thing. Yeah, it's inevitable. We all do. I mean, think about, just think about me. My hair was that long. When you were, were always doing some stuff, and, it, and it, it, it was my hair. Mm-hmm. And all right, then, girl. all right, girl, because you tried to come for me real quick. So I said it was my. This is my hair. It I've is your hair, but you're hair. missing my point. I'm talking no, no, about. No, 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 no. I caught your point. <laughs> no, you really didn't. I'm talking about evolving. I, I'm still here. And then I cut but it. I have hair under here. 
Now, and then I cut it again. And then what, in 2018, you moved into New York in 2018, yeah, March of 2018, 2017, March, 18. Uh, it was like March. Anyway, I cut, I went total bitch up and I had a freak out moment. And he kept tell, she kept telling me, cut your hair, cut your hair, don't worry about it, cut the relaxer out, you'll be fine, da 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 da, -da. Mm -hmm. So I did it, came home, took one look at me and took gorgeous photos. Mm -hmm. made up my face to gorgeous photos and I was like okay and now I mean I've cut it again because mm -hmm. it was and I'm gonna I'll let it keep it growing I'm going to I'm just gonna say I'm gonna let it grow back up but what I'm saying is we always evolve you're going to evolve again and again and again because that's who we are as we grow we evolve if you're not growing then you're stagnant. Yeah, and that and that's to me that's the equivalent of just dying. Really? That's why people say like you gotta live until you die. You have to continue being you and evolving and doing all of that until the day. Until that day. Yep. But um, but until then, you know, be ever changing. Be yourself. But um, yeah, that was I just think that was that was like the moment of confirmation I needed to just know like, yeah, like. When you were like, oh my God, my daughter is so pretty. But then you were like, oh my God, but I'm so happy to see my son. I was just like, that was like the confirmation I needed from my mom to say, you know what? She is proud of me. She loves me. As long as my mother understands it and as long as my mother at the end of the day says that who I am on the inside hasn't changed since day one, I don't really care what anybody else got to say. Even on my bad days where I might not be feeling the best about myself, I can always go back and just like look at those pictures. I look at those pictures so much because I had so much fun. And I just I just had so much fun. We had we did have fun. I really did. Like we always have fun, but it was just fun just not caring about anything I talked about or not caring about like I, I just didn't care. I was just with my mom. Like I wasn't thinking about anything else. Like, oh, like are other people in the restaurant looking at me? First of all, I look over, so. Nobody was paying me no mind. And we were sitting in the back because we, we wanted to talk. So the upstairs was very loud. So we, we, we purposefully sat away from each other. I mean, sat away from the people so we could hear each other. We could talk, but we still wanted to be with a life for the party. We wanted to eat. Cause that's, and, and that's who we are. We're very much party girls. Um, but yeah, just being there, then going back to the hotel, then just... It was just like, oh, I spent time with my mom, but she really just got to meet me. Like, I don't feel like I thought like, oh, I know I'm going to be in Philly. I know I'm going to want to wear some hair. I know I'm going to want to wear makeup, but oh my God, I'm going out with my mom, so I can't do that. Then being uncomfortable and feeling bare, like leaving the house without your earrings on. And then all day you're like, oh, oh, I feel naked. Like, that's how I would have felt if I didn't come being myself. Now, if I would have just been feeling more mask or more butch, I probably would have just came with a lash and a do-rag on. But that's not how I was feeling. I was feeling like this. So you made was, it very clear you wanted me to meet Milan. Yeah, and and yeah. and that's because I knew that that's where I like. I knew that that was who was coming to Philly. So I needed you to know that that's who was coming to Philly. And then we had a great time in Philly, and it was everything. And then just after that, I always take that with me, like everywhere I go. Like when I leave, I just I take that feeling with me, like that a little bit of the anxiety because again, still living in New York, I don't care. I'll walk out the house completely covered and you're still going to have anxiety because there's just so much going on out here in these streets but i just had that much less anxiety like leaving the house like 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 going places meeting new people like just mm -hmm. so here's the deal that support really it goes a long way i think when you strip all of us of everything and if this pandemic hasn't done anything else it has stripped everybody of everything. Cause I'm looking at me thinking, God, I miss my lashes. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, I didn't wear long lashes, mm -hmm. but um, you get, you have to look at who you are. Minus all the sculpted nose and the lashes for days and the beat face, you know, the hair, everything. For the the nails, everything, and you look at who, huh? 
Huh? I can't wait to get my nails done. I do my own. This 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 is my speed right here. Word. It's cute for you. That's right. Um, because I've evolved. I've gone through all of the jail work evolution. I did. And you know what? You you get so comfortable and you learn to really you love who you are at every phase, but every phase you love yourself a little bit more. This is the last phase. This is all we got here. No, it's never I the last know. phase. Well, no, well, no, I'm not. I don't want to say it's, it's the last never phase. the last phase because I, I, I don't want to say the last phase, but I feel like um, I feel like you know, like when you're going through high school again. This is a lot, and, and this is another thing that LGBTQ plus people a lot of <clears throat> excuse me a lot of times um, because you can be you can be a cisgender person and and be a lesbian, be gay, be bisexual, pansexual, asexual, whatever whatever sexuality you are. You can be that and be a cisgender person. But, you know, a lot of us within the LGBTQ uh, community, those overlap for us. So we are either whatever sexual orientation we are, but then you also have to lay, uh, layer in the gender. And that's where the T comes in. Um, that's where non-binary comes in. That's where gender non-conforming comes in, trans, all of that. So when you, when you have those two, it's just like, hmm. I gotta figure this out because nobody is teaching. The, we don't learn this in school. So when you're when you're in high school and you're growing up, like if I would have learned how to put on, do a simple wingtip liner like most high schoolers know how to do now, that wear makeup, boys, girls, trans, non-binary, like just kids are wearing makeup younger. If I would have been able to do that or felt comfortable going to the store and maybe buying a mascara and maybe only playing with it in my room, but if I would have felt comfortable, I would have reached certain like certain evolutions maybe at a different time we don't know but i will never know because that's nothing that i can say that i would have went out and done like going and buying a skirt or going and buying a tube top or whatever i wanted a pair of shoes a pair of heels i love heels going out and buying a pair of heels i would have just never see, done i would have just never done that hmm. you know i just thought about you said heels what when you were packing once go back to school uh-huh and i said oh whose shoes are those you're like oh those are Bianca's. And I'm like, yeah, I, said, I said they were. Why you got Bianca's shoes? And that's what I mean. You just weren't ever comfortable enough to say, those are mine and what of it? Yeah, but I didn't know. I that. understand. Because I didn't want to change the dynamic because we're so close. Everything scares you about like changing that dynamic. So I had to get comfortable with it. I ain't going nowhere. I know, but I had, I had to. This was. It wasn't true. That's one of those situations. I don't where it's, you. it's 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 not true. It's me. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that's not in every situation. You know, some people's situation it really be the parents, or it really be the environment, or it really be the people. But in our relationship, it was more so me needing to overcome those fears. But um, but yeah, like I was saying, like I know as far as like presentation goes. This is who I always, like, this is, I always loved hair. I always wanted to grow my hair out. And I always like makeup. And I feel like now that I, you know, I feel completely comfortable doing that for me, I'm good. And now what's going to continue to evolve is, you know, my mindset and, you know, how I go about things. And of course, everything about growing up as an adult and doing all of the adult things that you like to do. That is, that's where I'm like, now I'm like, all right. We can do this because, you know, spiritually, I'm sound. Mentally, I'm sound. You know, physically, I'm sound. Okay. You know, let's add on these other things that are going to create, you know, this full person with this over life that I am working towards. So, yeah. But I I'm, I thank you so much for my... You like it. I love my... I, I, I had so much fun doing yours. I think I told you when I did yours, I took my time. Mm -hmm. and framed it out properly so you could really see that it was floating yeah i see that and it yeah. it made me go back and redo the first two i did and i you know i told you i did the third one mm -hmm. and um it's i i did i felt a sense of release after that because i was able to in my head put, connect all the dots from the 60s being a little kid and knowing what was happening, but not knowing what was happening mm -hmm. to growing up as a young adult 
and watch what was happening out in LA in the early 80s when NWA was getting started. Those of us that knew, we knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was even visiting in LA in what, 86, 87? And even visiting, we knew where not to be at certain times, even as visitors. Because my buddy that I was visiting, she didn't live. She lived in, in West Hollywood. Mm. So, um, you know, but I went to see, I saw Inglewood, I saw Compton, I saw South Central, I saw all of that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, and watching and knowing what was happening, it was like eye-opening. So to, to, to have all this continue to bubble up, I needed to release it somewhere because you know, because of my surgery, I couldn't go down and be in the protests and this, that, and the other. And, um, and corona. huh? And Corona. Well, but you know what? I would have had my mask on. I probably would have double masked up, but, but, um, but there's other things that we can do. Mm -hmm. Financially, we got the power. Shop black owned. Period. Know, know who your black owned retailers are, your cosmetics, your restaurants. Mm -hmm. Do our best to shop black. Mm -hmm. Just, just, and we got we got to take care of each other. Period. We got to get registered to vote. I was so proud of you when you called me, Mom. I'm going to vote. And then you, you had the post up on Instagram. We voted. Because I'm like, I done taken you to the polls with me since you were a little thing. Here we are. Because people talk about, oh, that's not going to help anything. Yes, it does. Our people died for the opportunity to be able to vote. Right. Women way back in the day then our Black people. So we absolutely got to be able to have that voice. We didn't believe it. Watch what happened in Kentucky yesterday. They tried to shut that poll down and injunction was filed and boom, those people voted. Know your voting rights, get registered, go vote. Yeah, there is power. Right. And then you gotta be able to have uncomfortable conversations. Not volatile, but have those conversations so people really know what we're dealing with. Yeah. So. Anywho, we live in. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta go Thanks fix my face because I, I look a hot mess. Girl, Bob. Um, but no, thanks for loving me in this crazy world. Hey, you are mine and I am yours. Well, get really close to the camera. Mwah. Love ya. <laughs> um, so yeah, y'all, this is me and my mom. Let us know if you want us to do more talks like this. We have more talks like this on Instagram as well. I mean, on, um, well, no, we have like more videos on Instagram, but we have like more videos on YouTube. So this is going to be live on YouTube, like as soon as I guess download it and figure out how to make that happen in 2020. Cause yeah, because you, you can tether Zoom over to YouTube. Yeah, like the same way I did it. So the next one, maybe we'll do the next one on YouTube. Yeah. All right. I miss your YouTube people. They, they are so much fun. They are, they are. But um, the Facebook people are like a little bit more fun too. But that's because I have been engaging more on Facebook. You've I've been engaged. really engaging, yeah, yeah, a lot. Because I've been noticing, I've been noticing how you know different companies and brands and personalities are you know doing the things on the Facebook. But um, I don't want to make this too long. I want to hold everybody too long, whatever. Promote tomorrow night. Tomorrow night at nine. Where are you gonna be? Oh, so tomorrow night on um at nine o'clock on like Look at my mom. She's like everything. So, I am marketing and PR. This is who I am. Come on. Well, she does. Um, I will be live on Slay TV Live and Slay TV YouTube Live. I am going to um, be hosting the Legendary Breakdown. It's the after show. It's the official after show for um, Legendary on HBO Max. So we're going to be doing that. We have some really dope episodes coming up. Tomorrow night, I have Cheyenne Escada, Deshaun Gucci, and Zay Lavin. This week's episode is super dope, super crazy. So y'all definitely want to make sure you all stream it as soon as it goes live. I'll be there. Three. Well, the show on HBO Max goes live at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. 
So make sure you all stream it tomorrow. Make sure you watch it before 9 o'clock so that you can come watch Legendary Breakdown with three of the cast members from Legendary HBO Max. And it won't be a spoiler for you. So just know tomorrow's episode is, I think, the best episode yet. Every episode continues to get better, 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 better. And I'm going to shout that out and make sure you all are there watching me tomorrow. And again, let us know if y'all want to see more of me and this crazy fun lady that made this crazy fun lady. And yeah, yeah, that was the tea. I'm going to okay. show you what you one more time if anybody's just joining. Then I want you just to take a look at it. Take your time and really look at it. That My turned out so crazy. good. Y'all see the floating frame? Uh, a little bit. There you go. Uh, everything. Uh, I'm keeping my, the back of it is mine. Um, but thanks again, Mom, for having this talk on the Facebook with me. Thanks for asking me to. We're going to do more. I love you. Love you too, boo. Talk to you later. Mwah. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> later. Bye.